Forbidden Door coming up this weekend. I know uh, we talked a lot about WWE. We'll close here with this. Uh, did you see uh, from Dynamite last night? This doesn't have to do with Forbidden Door. I guess we'll start with this match in a second. MJF is facing Hitchisero on Sunday. Fucking random match. Um, but they want to get the same MLL involvement, whatever. Did you see that on Dynamite, MJF challenged Daniel Garcia to a match at All In? I mean, I know they're close and whatever, but that and I, that should be a great match and whatever, but that just seems like, like a downgrade for him. It's a big upgrade for Garcia, but I, I, that just kind of surprised me a little bit. Wait, like the one at Wembley? Yeah, he literally said to him on Dynamite, hey, I'll face you at All In. And maybe that gets changed, but that's what they said. They, they were even teasing MJF and Osprey a week ago, and they kind of teased it last night, but they pretty much outright announced MJF and Garcia for All In last night in two months. Why? <laughs> I don't because he likes him. I don't know. That, if that's the case, it's... Wow, that's awful. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. Um, Chris Statlander in Mo- Mo- Momo uh, Watanabe, I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that, versus Willow Nightingale and Tom Nakano. Don't know who was... I, I, don't, I didn't even know that match was announced. I'm seeing that here on Wikipedia. <laughs> um, I assume uh, I assume Chris's team wins it. We won't even bother with that one. I, I didn't even know that was announced. I'm just seeing. I don't here. even know two of the women you just announced. So we'll just pass by that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know them either. Uh, honestly, either they're probably from Stardom, I would think. But like I said, MJF versus Hitchisero, easy win for MJF, right? That's that's pretty. I mean, yes. I mean, <laughs> if MJF's losing the Hitchisero, I think you just said, yeah. then he needs to find a new line of work. In Long Island, no less. He's in his hometown. MJF is so that's a. You know, uh, clean cut slam dunk prediction for MGF on this show. Zack Saber Jr. versus Orange Cassidy, kind of following up on the foray from last year, where Cassidy retained his then international title against uh, Saber Jr. and a few other people. Doesn't matter who wins. I mean, it doesn't matter who wins a lot of these matches, but um, this has no stakes. I think this is a win for Zack Saber Jr. But what do you think? Yeah, it makes sense. I feel like if Orange cooled off, I feel like you kind of have to give other promotions some kind of win so I think him I th- what's favorite he races for New Japan right correct yeah yeah I think you I think you give him a little bone here and he beats uh, Orange Cassidy that's a great point I think a lot of the AW people on the show are going to win so that that kind of gives away my other predictions but uh, yeah this would be a good opportunity for AEW to not win one and New Japan can get one over them uh, Brian Danielson versus Shingo Takagi, former a- uh, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion. He's great. You, you probably aren't aware of him, but he's terrific. The match should be great. This is a first-round match in the men's Owen Hart Cup. I think Brian Danielson, if he doesn't win the whole thing, he's going to come close. Again, another safe pick here to win uh, to pick him, right, to win this match? Yeah, I'm going with Brian. I, I've heard of Shingo Takagi. I haven't really seen a lot okay. of him, but I know the name, and I know like he's known, like he's well-respected, but... I think so. I think Brian will either win it or go far. Sorry to have him win here. I agree. Uh, we found out... Oh, what the fuck? So, they had a six-man tag team match on the pay-per-view. They added a few of them last night. Samoa Joe Hook, Katsuyora Shibata versus the Learning Tree, that awful shit. They were supposed to team with Brian Keith. He's hurt. There might be a work injury. I don't know. Um, Minoru Suzuki, they wanted as his partner in storyline, and he told Jericho to fuck off. He was like, I'll face you for the FDW title one-on-one. They're not doing that match? I, that was really confusing. This was all on Dynamite last night. It says here that he's teaming with Jeff Cobb. That might be a spoiler alert. They might reveal that on Collision. I don't think they revealed that on Dynamite. Um, that was kind of random. I know Jericho and Cobb, are. he knows of him. I, I don't know. Um, I, I think Joe Hook and Shibata win here. The Learning Tree stuff is terrible, so I, I'm hoping Joe's team wins. The Learning Tree needs to die. Dollar team wins. <laughs> I agree. Uh, the Elite, the Bucks, which consists of the Bucks and Okada, taking on, and I quote, Scissor Ace, uh, the acclaimed in Hiroshi Tanahashi. Thank God it's not Billy Gunn, Tanahashi filling in for Gunn. Uh, the acclaimed will challenge the Bucks at a later date. I don't know if it's next week. I thought it was at Forbidden Door, but I guess not. For the AEW World Tag Team titles, that will not happen on this show. Um, I think you give the acclaimed the momentum boost if you really want to put him over. So I think Tanahashi's team wins over the Elite. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're still their face, it's already guaranteed they're facing them at a later date. Yes, yeah, the acclaimed it will be, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd give them the win. Like I said, I don't think they late need to win. I think to kind of give them more momentum, I'd go with the acclaimed and not Tanahashi. 
That's what I'm thinking as well. Um, looking else here, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, John Moxley versus Tetsuya Naito. So Moxley beat Naito to win the belt a couple months back, uh, right after WrestleMania, actually. This is the rematch for the belt. I wouldn't think, I mean, I know you don't really follow New Japan stuff. I don't either. But I assume Naito gets the belt back because I don't know why else they would do a rematch a couple months later unless he was regaining the gold. So, And you also mentioned like they got to give wins to some of these other people, which I agree with. And my other predictions, I don't think the New Japan people are winning. So I think Naito walks out the new uh, IWGP world champion. Uh, do you? Would you agree with that or do you have a different opinion? I mean, if they just put the belt on Moxley, why would they just put it back on? I mean, I guess he's not working New, new Japan full-time. Um but I'm going to say keep it on Moxley. Okay, all right. I would keep him on longer, but I don't know how many New Japan dates he's working. I don't know how many matches he's actually having over there. It might have just been a short-term thing to spice things up because they don't have a lot of buzz right now, so I could see them putting the belt right back on Naito. But, um, all right, interesting, uh, you know, wild card prediction there. Timeless Tony Storm defending the AW Women's World Championship against Mina Shirakawa. They've been building this up for a while now uh, with Mariah May kind of being caught in between the two of them. I don't think Timeless Tony Storm is losing the belt to a stardom talent, but Shirakawa, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, is very good. So I think this will be a good match, but I think Tony Storm holds on to the belt. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think they've done a decent job, like I said, kind of highlighting the uh, relationship of May and Shirakawa, but like you said, I don't think she's going to lose. Tony's going to lose here, but I'll give him. Props are at least making it somewhat interesting. Yeah, they've tried. I mean, I, I give AEW a lot of shit for not really giving us a story, but it's been a story, so I give them credit for that, and I do think the Mariah May, Tony Storm stuff will play itself out with uh, Mariah May hopefully winning the Women's World, uh, Women's Owen Cup, rather, and uh, Owen Hart Cup, and challenging Storm it all in in a couple months. Uh, Mercedes Monet ch- taking on Stephanie Vakir. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, she's from New Japan. She's the current New Japan Strong Women's Championship, the title that Mercedes was supposed to win last year before she got her in the finals, losing to Willow. She avenged the loss to Willow. They got the TBS title here on the line. Mercedes just won the belt. She is not losing here. I mean, it's, it's a winner-take-all match. I think Mercedes Monet is winning both belts. Um, I think I that's mean, a pretty safe pick. Mercedes out of well. I mean, I don't know. I were discussing this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. I think the match will be good. From what I've heard, Vakira is very good. Um, but I think Mercedes wins. That That's easy. Uh, TNT title ladder match. Adam Copeland doing that dumbass spot of double or nothing. Had to give up the belt. So we're going to have a ladder match for to crown a new champion. Uh, the last spot, spoiler alert, I guess will be determined on Rampage or Collision. It went to El Fantasmo of New Japan. So they do have some New Japan flavor in the match. Leo Rush as well. They're not winning. Um, the other competitors are Dante Martin, Jack Perry, Mark Briscoe, the current Ring of Honor champion, so he's not winning, and Takeshka. Of these, like, six or seven people, only two of them make sense, and that's Jack Perry and Kanosuke. I really want Kanosuke to win, give him something. I think it's going to Jack Perry. I don't dislike Jack Perry. I just think Kanosuke would be a better fit. But if they want all the elite members to have gold, then Jack Perry makes sense. So I think Jack Perry wins the TNT title here. Jack Perry wins, LOL. Yep. And then back to the main event, uh, Swerve Strickland, Will Ospreay for the AEW World Championship. This is a bit more unpredictable because Will Ospreay's been on a roll since coming to the company. Uh, He's the current international champion. Just because he's that champion doesn't mean he can't win both belts. Uh, The international title is not on the line here. I think Swerve's going to win, though. I think Swerve's reign continues. They're probably not ready to crown Ospreay just yet. I would be fine if they did, but it also feels too soon to do that. Swerve's only been champion for two months. Um, I feel like they would be shorting, you know, shorthanding him if he lost. So I think in a great match, I think Swerve is going to retain. Osprey can always avenge the loss down the road. But uh, do you think we get a new champion, or does Swerve walk out still AEW World Champion on Sunday? <sighs> this is a tough one. I'm going to say... I feel, like, I feel like Swerve should win. I'm going to go with Osprey though. I just feel like I don't see him losing. I like Swerve a lot, and I feel like it could be like short-chaining his title reign, but uh, I feel like they're going all in on Osprey and him to lose here. It just doesn't seem right for them, mm-hmm. so I'm going to go with Osprey. All right. That's a big win for Osprey right there. Still uh, you know, uh, still undefeated if he wins, and we're going to have a new AW World Champion if he does win and walk out the new champ. 